<laughs> hey guys, uh, Adrex3 here, and uh, we're going to continue our play of the Doki Doki Literature Club. Mm. Yeah, we're going to continue playing the Doki Doki Literature Club. <sighs> we're just, we're just going to sit here and just wait for jump scares at this point, because, you know... <laughs> Oh my god. Did we did we really decide on the Yuri playthrough on this oh cursed playthrough? Oh. Ugh, I would read this stuff out loud, but I'm just like in need of uh a timer right now because I don't want to go over my fifteen minutes because of reasons. <laughs> Outer X3 here, so we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club, but we're reading with Yuri, and uh, it was a little glitched out last time we played. So, yeah. Okay. So we're getting cozy with Yuri. That's This is what's happening. We're reading a book with Yuri, we're getting very cozy with her, and she's getting nervous about it. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. They meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. Are you feeling all right? He's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... my breathing? She puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. He stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? At her! Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I just make sure you don't do anything to her. Nothing. Don't worry, I believe you. Just, uh, Yuri does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, we don't start sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Can we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Uh, Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and all I want to know is I'm putting in effort. Hi, Adder. Having a good time so far? Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Everything, I'm just kind of just waiting, because it got really calm and friendly, and that means jump scares are going to happen, you know? This game lulled me in with a very false sense of security. And, uh, well, <laughs> I'm starting to feel secure again. So, uh, <laughs> ever since ever you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm going to be afraid to look at the screen. Um,. <sighs> anyway, want to share your poems with me? That's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, Adder. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we all learned to get past soon. That's true. And Monica, my poem. Great job. I was going, oh, in my head and reading it. It's really metaphorical. Well, I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for you to keep everyone's expectations low, I guess. <laughs> it always comes when I put in some effort. Well, you know, Yuri likes this kind of writing. I think it's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though, but sometimes I get the impression she's totally given up on people. She spends so much of her own time in her own head, it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must really be starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Ah, oh, already? So oh, sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get into my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not that very good. Okay, I am worried. 
always feel the way, you know? Let's see. Well, let's read it. Hole in the wall. He wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. I wanted to see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Calling my fears, I brandish my pen. I'm scared. <laughs> I think it was very normal. Oh boy. There's a lot of poems that have been putting an emphasis on timing and words and lines and reading this stuff over again just makes me nervous because I've been here, I've done that, and you know, things are going to go seriously wrong. Probably when I look at Yuri's poem, because Yuri was kind of freaking out on me a second ago, so it was Sayori, she turned into, she was a little green gremlin, and sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too physical. Push yourself to get something done on paper. I know, that's the same tip you gave the day one last time, but things weren't quite as screwy before. Let's go to see what Yuri has to say. Hi, hey, Yuri. Exceptional. What was that? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrrong, Yuri. That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting nervous for? Here he takes a breath. So. Oh, man. Even my phone is making me jumpy. <laughs> Look over, I got a message. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I remember the sick burn she gave me before because I wrote a poem that was more for Sayori's tastes. And she was like, hmm. Hmm. It's your first time, isn't it? Natsuki gonna blow up on me. I like Natsuki though. Oh, don't, no, don't, don't Natsuki. Oh. Just under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one. Last remaining street light to love. Okay. This is the same poem. I am sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. This is all the same. Everything seems pretty solid. Oh, everything is okay. Everything's okay. We're just gonna just sit here and tell ourselves happy thoughts, happy th wait, no, that's not the wrong thing. That's not the right thing to say. That things happen to people who say those sort of things. But we're gonna be positive. We're gonna maintain a positive attitude. We're just gonna keep on clicking. Keep on clicking, keep on clicking, keep on clicking, keep on clicking. Keep on clicking. Uh. Okay. I'm scared. Oh boy. Hi, Natsuki. Not what I expected from someone like you. Well, excuse me. This didn't evoke any emotions. I would like to get smacked by Natsuki. Hey, did I say that out loud? <laughs> okay, so this is the same. Okay. Is the same. So he's 
you're going to start fighting. Oh shit. That sounded a little out of tune. Okay. Because I know when the music gets a little funky, the game gets a little funky. <laughs> Maybe it's just my ears playing tricks on me. Is this this game just going to just make me paranoid about jump scares the whole damn time? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so these two are still going to bicker. I think it turned to me to help. Oh. Okay. I'm like, the music stopped and my heart almost had a heart attack because it's like, are they going to start growling at me? Is, are, is the jump scares going to happen? Yeah, I know, because her boobs grew a whole size bigger when I joined the club. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh shit. What's happening? It's kind of going a little out of hand. Oh shit. What? What? Okay, I'm having a heart attack now myself. I don't know. Natsuki? What the fuck is going on? <sighs> okay. Uh. <sighs> I'm having a heart attack. That gave me a heart attack. Um. It looked like the same argument as before, but it just kind of escalated out of control. What was that going on? Oh boy. That's no good. Oh, man. Oh, be careful. You might cut yourself on that edge. Where do you do that? Wow. Wow. I guess I can't go that far back. Okay, it doesn't let me go very far back, so I couldn't see that nonsense that uh, Yuri was spotting. Oh, man. Didn't mean it. I believe you. No idea what she said or did. Here, please don't hate me. Nothing wrong with me today. Fine, Yuri. No, you didn't mean it. I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it by tomorrow, completely. It's almost like you have a way of knowing that for sure. You can go first, Monica. Stay a little bit longer. President, I should be the last one out. She wants to say something, but she can't say it in front of Monica.
I'm just picking where it's just random. Disaster. Um, yeah. Incapable. Melancholy. Graveyard. Agonizing. Power. Tragedy. Faster. Defeat. Pain. Death. It's already time for a club meeting. Well, we're gonna just gonna save and my alarm's going off and... I think I can only stand playing, <laughs> doing one episode of this at a time at this point, so I'm at a Rick's 3. Uh... I'm gonna, gonna continue with this heart attack simulator. I mean, Doki Doki Literature Club. And, um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.